the volley is the, is the shot you hit when you're at the net and you don't allow the ball to bounce and you take the ball from the air. A volley is played more in doubles than in singles and it is, uh, it's a really fun part of the game because you get to come up to the front of the court and apply pressure to your opponent. And if you're good at the net and you can make your volleys, pretty soon they start really noticing when you're at the net and it bothers them, which is another, uh, another one of the things that uh, acquiring skills in tennis will help you with. When you get better at tennis, it bothers your opponent because you're not making mistakes. And mistakes are probably more, beat you more than your opponent if you really thought about most of your tennis matches you play. Okay, now here's the volley technique. What you do is you use one grip. You put your racket down on its edge and, and get it so it stays put. Now if your racket won't stay balanced, you can just hold it on balance and then pick it up as if it were a hammer. If I were going to take a nail and put it into a board using the edge of my racket, this would be the grip. Now with the forehand grip, that's the, that is the, con this is called the hammer grip, also called continental grip for you tennis uh, aficionados. And then see if you can lightly bump the ball off your string without a swing to get it to go above the white line. First with your forehand and then you can move it over and go to your backhand. And then if you want to, you can alternate forehand and then backhand. I like to go three forehands, one, two, three, and then switch it to backhand. I'll go backhand, one, two, three, and I'll go forehand. And what you're doing is you're, you're working on a blocking technique where you block the ball over the net. Notice that I'm not swinging. It's just a blocking technique. This is the volley. Now, if you want to get into technique, see how my wrist is positioned with the racket above the wrist. When you hit a, when you hit a volley, you do not want to let your racket head droop down. So keep the racket up, little small blocking motion. It's kind of like you're playing catch with your racket only instead of catching it with your hand, you catch it with your string. It's the same exact motion. So if you know how to catch, you should be able to volley. Okay, now that moves us into ground stroke technique. That's volley technique. 